Pikeville City Police Department, with the help of some community partners, will be releasing a children's book soon dedicated to the memory of fallen officer Scotty Hamilton. Recently, we sat down with the author of this book, one of Pikeville PD's own, for more information. When I was writing it, it was obviously, we all knew that it was going to be a tribute to Scotty. He was definitely a one of the main inspirations in here. And I was like, there's no better way to, you know, to tribute him, honor him. And, you know, Hammy is basically because of him. So it we all worked together as a community. It was a community-wide project to, you know, create this wonderful tribute. To, to Scotty and just as an added bonus it also will benefit the community through uh, funding our Christmas with the first responder program. The book is basically Hammy comes to the police station and he takes a tour of the police station and it's very much based on what we do here when kids come in and want to visit the police station. <laughs> so he comes in and he'll learn about the life and the responsibilities of officers in the community and he'll learn that you know officers are there to help, officers help change tires, they protect you from danger. At the police station you can get your fingerprints done or if you need a police report you come here or even if you're in an emergency, you can pull in here and we'll try to help you. So he is learning the importance of officers in this book and what they do for the community. And I, we are a very community-based department. And I love that about the Pipeville Police Department. And I think that, that Hamie reflects that on like things that our officers do daily and that I'm sure most kids probably see, not, not with just our department, but with every department locally so i'm excited i'm excited for that thompson also gave us a little more insight into the creative process she followed while sending hammy on his first adventure hammy visits the police station it is came from an idea when we uh, order the stuff at hammy's um that came from the idea of the trooper teddy's captain blankenship a couple of months ago and during that process we were raffling off a hammy and I took Hammy around town and, you know, he sat in the Creative Arts District and he broke parking tickets and he rode in cruisers and for a while. And so when um, I was creating those posts, I was like, well, what else could I do? And I'd majored in English and I was like, what can I do to help raise funds for Christmas with the first responder? Because we were fundraising pretty hard at the time and it was starting, the summer months were starting to dwindle down. And, you know, I was like, what, what would be a good thing that go to the, towards the Christmas with the first responder program? And I was like, a kid's book, Hammy, Hammy, because I had been calling on the Hamie Adventures on my Facebook post. And so I was like, Hamie, Hamie's going to visit the police station. And so I pitched the idea to Captain Russell Blankenship and to Chief Riddle. And they were like, that's a great idea. And I was like, well, when things calm down a little bit, I'll work on it and see how far I can go. And so I wrote it. And once I wrote it and I let everybody read it, they're like, yeah, this is really, really good. And I was like, okay. So I contacted Jeff over at the Appalachian News Express. And I was like, you know, I've written a kid's book. I was like, I just need guidance because I didn't know who to read out to. I said, I just need guidance on, you know, who can illustrate it for me. And so he was like, hey, I got an idea. It could be Chris Epling. And I was like, okay. I was like, we'll see, you know, let's see if we can get it printed and like what the quote was. And he's like, give me about 15, 20 minutes and I'll call you back. And I said, okay. So he did. And he was like, the hospital's going to sponsor this book. And he said, we'll print it and Chris will illustrate it. And I was like, okay. So that all happened in August. And now in December, we have Hammy visits the police station and all the funds uh, that are raised from the book will go to our Christmas with the First Responder program and our community outreach program. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Thompson states that while the idea of writing a children's book has been a personal goal of hers for some time, she can't think of a better way to have accomplished it than by creating Hammy. She also hopes that this won't be the only adventure she gets to take with Hammy, as she has plenty more ideas in store already. Writing a children's book was a thing on my bucket list. And I knew that I eventually, at some point in my life, I would, I would write a children's book. I'm just so thrilled that not only did I, you know, mark a, 
a thing off my bucket list, but also I, it's something that's, you know, going to contribute a great, to a great cause and uh, a wonderful tribute to Scotty. And I think that it all, like, I, I don't know any better way I could have marked that, that bucket list off, that checklist off. <laughs> I would like for Hammy to go on a lot of ventures. Like, Hammy visits the fire station. Hammy uh, helps the community. Hammy deals with bullying. Those kinds of things. I would like to see that those things come to fruition in the future. And, you know, I just feel like Hammy has a lot of stories to tell that could really just benefit kids. And, and it's just going to... Um, also kind of keeps Scotty's memory alive and you know I don't know if, if Officer Scott will be present in all of those books but Hamey definitely will be. <laughs> For Mountain Top News, I'm Joshua Slump.